Detroit Tigers, Pear Bear's second favorite team on his list. The Detroit Tigers went 81 and 81 last year. They had a 500 winning percent and were 13 games out of the American League Central behind the White Sox and the Twins. The, in my eyes, the Detroit Tigers are a, are a good team and they have good players. They got they got good and bad players like every team. They got Victor Martinez this offseason who was with the Red Sox last year. He had 20 home runs, 79 ribbies, and a 302 average. He did get injured though, so if he didn't get injured, he'd probably be at 25 home runs, 90 RBIs, and a 310 average. But he, he got injured, and that's it. That's how it goes. But next year, look at him to put up 27, 28 home runs, have have 90 RBIs, and have uh, a 315 batting average. Of course, he is capable of that, and he probably will if he's healthy. They also got Miguel Cabrera on first base. Cabrera is just amazing all around. 38 home runs last year, 126 RBIs, 328 batting average. Also a 420 on base percentage. He's an amazing first baseman and is gold glove material, no doubt. Miguel Cabrera next year, I say, will put up 35 home runs, 120 RBIs, but put up a 340 at batting average with a 450 on base percentage. Of course, in that park, some people have an advantage with hitting home runs, some don't. It all depends if you're a righty or lefty. But overall, that come out the ballpark is pretty hard to hit home runs in. But Victor Martinez does good in that park. But Cabrera, he's good in it too, but he's better on the road with home runs. They also have Johnny Peralta. Johnny Peralta they got from the Cleveland Indians last year. Peralta had 15 home runs, 81 RBIs, and had a 250 batting average, 249 batting average. Next year, look at him to go for 17 home runs, 60 RBIs, and a 260 batting average. He's a good shortstop, but he's not that powerful and not that good with making contact. But he's definitely a great defender, no doubt. They also got Brandon Inge. Brandon Inge got injured last year. He ha he had 13 homers, 70 ribbies, and a 247 batting average. Now, Nick, now he, that's not good for him actually, because the truth, because ne but next year, um, because the year before that he had 27 home runs, 84 RBIs, and a 230 batting average. The average sucks, I know, but next year, look at him to put up 20 home runs, 21 home runs, have 85 RBIs, but his average is going to go up, but not by much, just a 255 batting average instead of 247. He's going to be healthy the whole time, all year long, and he's going to have around a 350 batting on base percentage. It's not all star material, but hey, it is good, okay? Don't get me wrong. They also got Ramon Santiago. Who was the former shortstop, but now don't we we don't know what's gonna happen to him now that they got um now that they got um Johnny Peralta there with him at shortstop. It's just a bumpy ride. Like the he was the DH last year, so no one knows how things are gonna play out. Plus, with the signing of Carlos Guillen, you know, no one really knows. For the outfield, they also got Maglio Adonias. Maglio Adonias got injured. 12 homers, 59 ribbies, a 303 batting average. He, next year, he's going to go for 15 home runs, get 65 RBIs, but put up a 305 batting average instead. A little better, but, you know, remember, he's getting old now. Age is a big factor. Okay? Now, they also got. Um, they also got, oh, they also got Action Jackson, also known as Austin Jackson. He last year he had four home runs, 41 ribbies, and a 293 average. He stole 27 bases, and last year was his rookie year. So, yeah, that's pretty good for him. But you can look at him for next year to put up 10 home runs, 
60 RBIs and a 320 batting average. He's gonna be one of those guys that um he's gonna be one of those guys that wins a gold glove in the outfield because he's tremendous at fielding, no doubt. And they also got Brendan Bosch. Now Brendan Bosch last year did 14 homers, 67 ribbies, and a 256 average. He played 133 games in his rookie season as well. 320 on base percent. Next year, look at him to go. Um, 15 home runs, 70 ribbies, but a 240 batting average because he's going to drop. Okay? I just have a feeling. I just know it. Okay? So, yeah, that's the Tigers. But now for pitching. They got Joaquin Benoit, and they, um, who they got from uh, Tampa. They got Brian Villarreal, who they got as well. They got Jacob Turner, all these guys they got this season. But also, for pitching, they got Brad Penny, who went, um, who played for the Cardinals last year. Went 3-4 three for 3-2-3 three two, three two three ERA. Next year, look at him to put up, uh, Look, look at him to put 12 wins and 12 losses, have a 3.5 VRA, and have, um, and have, just be a good player all around. He's going to eat up innings, no doubt. He's going to be their ace, the second, no, the second man in the rotation, because Verlander's always going to be their ace. Verlander last year, at first he had a slow start, but then he went 18-9, and 3.37 VRA, and had 224 innings with 219 strikeouts. Next year, look down to go 21 wins and a 3.1 ERA with 230 innings and 240 strikeouts. Okay, because he is capable of that and he will put up that number. They also got Phil Coke, who is an okay reliever. He's nothing special. They got him from the Yankees. You know, nothing really that special. But they also got. Um, a, a pitcher whose name is Ryan Perry, who's a reliever as well. Ryan Perry um, went three for five with a three five nine ERA, two saves, sixty two innings, forty five strikeouts. Not your typical reliever, I guess. But for starting pitching again, they got Matt Scherzer, tw twelve and eleven last year, three point five ERA, hundred ninety five innings, hundred eighty four strikeouts. He had. Next year, you can look down um, to go for uh, it, 12, no, 12 wins again, but this time he's going to have 16 losses, okay, with a 4.3 ERA, because he's not really that good. He's going to put in 200 innings, but have 170 strikeouts instead. So, altogether, he's going to actually decrease in his pitching. They also got Rick Porcello. Rick Porcello went 10 and 12, 4.92 ERA. 162 innings and 84 strikeouts. Now for Cello next year, he's gonna go 9 and 15, have a 4.3 ERA, 170 innings, and 89 strikeouts next year. Okay, that's my prediction. And there is no sure fifth starter because they traded Armando Galarraga away. So yeah. Also, um, they got. Um, Jose Valverde. Jose Valverde last year, their closer, went 2 for 4 with a 3.0 ERA, 26 saves, 63 innings, 63 strikeouts. Okay, next year, look at him to go um, 1 in 5 wins loss with a 3.5 ERA, 40, 35 saves, but have like 15 blown, okay? Because that's what I feel about him, okay? That's my prediction on the. Uh, Detroit Tigers next year, and you know, subscribe to my videos. I I'll post them as soon as I can, whenever I can, whenever my internet is working, and you know, have fun. Okay, adios.